Hi, my name is Guy Augustus and I'm a multimedia communicator. I am creating a set of tutorials about Illustrator to help empower other people to learn how to do art with Illustrator than to create their own products or infographic or graphics or presentations or things like that. So if you saw my last video, you saw that we learned how to create shapes and I promised you that you could create all sorts of cool things with just simple shapes. And today I want to show you a powerful tool that is in Illustrator as well as in some other programs that can allow you to do that. This is called the Pathfinder panel. In Illustrator the way that you get to this panel is go to window and then you'll see it in the list of windows called Pathfinder. It also says you can click shift control F9 to bring this up. And this is what the Pathfinder window looks like over here in the bottom right corner of my screen. And it's got all these different shape modes that you can use to manipulate your shapes. And we're going to go through the ones that I use the most often. Alright, so I've just drawn a few sets of shapes here. And the main thing that you should know for the Pathfinder tool is that whenever you're using it, you need to select more than one shape. Again, the point of the Pathfinder tool is to allow you to combine, subtract, manipulate shapes using other shapes. And so you have to have more than one shape selected. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to subtract the top shape from a bottom shape. So here I have a blue circle and a green circle and the green circle is on top. What I want to do is I want to get the difference here so that I only have the blue circle but it doesn't have the part where the green circle is. So you can either drag and across both objects to select them or you can select the first one, hold down shift, and select the second one. And then, again, I want to subtract the top shape. And so I'm going to click this second one, which is minus front. And you see, the shape is no longer there, but we have this back shape still. Now let's do the opposite. This time I want the front shape, but I don't want the back shape. So the back shape is right here where this red line is, and I wanted to cut that out. So again, I'm just going to select both shapes. You have to have more than one shape selected to use the Pathfinder tool. And I'm going to choose minus back. And there. Well, you we can also get the intersection between the two shapes. So in this case, we're going to select both, and we're going to choose intersect. And you should be able to see here that if we put these three together, we would be back where we started. So this was minus front, this was minus back, and this was using the intersect tool. Another tool I use sometimes is called the trim tool. What this is going to do is remove the intersecting parts, but only in the back piece. So it's going to look the same, but then if I take them apart, you'll see they're different. So right now, if I move the green circle over, you'll notice that the whole blue circle is still there. But if I select both, and I go down and I select Trim, and now move the green over, which it groups them together. So I have to right click and click Ungroup. And then deselect. And now if I move the green over, you see it's, our, it's cut this part out of the blue without removing the green. Now the last one I want to show you is this divide feature. And the main way that I use it is with lines because I find that a lot of times I want to create two shapes that are the same shape but I just want them to be broken apart for some reason. And so I will draw a line and it doesn't have to be a straight line and I will select both and I'm going to choose divide down here in the Pathfinder panel. Now again it groups them together so we have to right click and press ungroup and then click off and now I can move each of these pieces separately. You can do some really cool effects with this. Now what happens if we divide with two circles. I'm just selecting both of those shapes and pressing divide and then ungrouping them. 
and you see it gave us all three pieces so if you need all three pieces over here you don't have to go through and do all of these three things you can just do it once with divide and create all three at once alright so I have created some examples here for you and I'd like you to think about how you could create these feel free to pause the video for a few minutes and then we'll go through them alright so this first one we can create using a square and a star I'm just gonna put the star inside the square make it smaller don't worry we're gonna learn how to do all of this later on if you're not following me I'm just using these arrow keys at the bottom to make things bigger and smaller and I'm using the shift key to keep it from stretching and then I'm going to use the minus front pathfinder tool to take out the star all right what about this one this orange one well there's actually a few ways that you could do this I'm going to show you one way I'm going to grab a circle I'm going to grab a circle and I'm going to grab a square and I'm just going to put that square over the circle in the center so as always I'm going to grab both shapes and I'm going to use intersect and now I have the half circle all right let's take a look at this red one for this one we need a star and we need a shape a pent pentagon and we're going to need to turn the pentagon so I am going to hover near the corner so that it gives me a, the rotate tool and I'm just going to rotate that again we select both and this time in order to get this shape we are going to choose exclude now we didn't do this one before because I just I don't use it very often but if you need it it's there so if I press exclude I end up with the shape all right last one I use this shape all of the time and I use it specifically if for like shines in eyes and things like that so to make this all you have to do is get two circles and overlap them until you have a crescent shape then select both and choose create a uh, minus front or minus back whichever one you created that you want to um, depending on how you made it in this case it's minus back and there we go so the again the pathfinder tool is a very powerful tool I use it in every project that I do and I encourage you to work with it and see how many cool shapes and things that you can create thanks again for watching and I will see you next time